Invicta is an Italian brand that started up a few years ago, and the success it's had with its first few models has been overwhelming, and developed into a larger series with a flagship that's 11 meters and 40 centimeters, the Invictus 370 GT. The sales network has already spread beyond national confines to Germany, Holland, Austria and England. And if you analyse the technical aspects of it, you discover that of course Invictus' success isn't haphazard. The designer and builder have already been designing and developing this type and size of boat for a long time. Right now, the boatyard is producing eight models that range from 19 to 37 feet, opens, centre consoles, sport fishermen's and cabined. They're all devised and built with such quality that has made the Italian boatyard famous for its design, flexibility, dependability, aesthetics and performance. I don't believe that you can just look at this boat it really needs to be observed carefully because it sets itself apart from others exactly in the fact it looks different. There's nothing casual or banal. And you may like it or not, but the details are fantastic. It's got a special profile with long windows that we're used to seeing on 20 metre yachts, not on smaller ones like this. The bow actually turns back on itself you say it like that because higher up it turns back on itself more so than in traditional bow shapes. It has a swim board at the stern that looks like it should be on a super yacht, long and submergible. Again, unprecedented equipment for a boat of this size. The sun deck at the bow is slightly padded, thanks to the washboard mounted on the rail, which means it's more secure. The mattress is covered in beautiful material and the buttons make it even nicer. All the Invictus projects come attached with the name Christian Grand Design Works on them, so we know that they aren't lacking in creativity. These ones seem to be the version with the luxurious air filters of the tractor. It seems like a motorboat, but it's an 11.5 metre long yacht, which the pilot's area backs up. This cockpit with three ergonomic and wide chairs that have side protection. Not just fiberglass and steel, but leather too. All the surfaces and cushions are full of details borrowed from the leather industry, decorating even the most traditional things, which thanks to their design became instantly gorgeous. The cockpit is asymmetrical and the sofa seat six. Folding the table up, you discover a rail. Turning over the backrest, you can make the sun deck larger. The rail is useful when you're balancing on the swim board, but it isn't high enough that you can stay stretched out safely when you're actually moving. If you happen to buy a boat like this one day, don't underestimate the provision for a kitchen area. There's space for a sink, fridge, even an ice maker if you want, and a hot plate. With a boat like this, you can leave for your holidays and stay on board for days and days, sailing and overnighting. Under cover, in fact, there's enough space easily for a family of four or five people. The area at the bow can be set out in two ways, for example with a double cabin, wardrobe and fridge, or with a sofa, table, bar and TV, whichever way it's pretty and comfortable. Under the cockpit there are another two beds, separate but designed that they can go together to make a double. Are you ready? 
Vai tu? Ciac! Dai, forza! Eh. Facile fare le prove. Well, it's easy when the sun's out, and if you're craving for a trip on a boat, maybe even a dip. But here at the boat show, we're not frightened to try it out, even in the winter, when the water is icy cold. The Invictus 370 GT can take a 300 horsepower turbo diesel Volvo Penta engine or a Mercruiser 370, and there will probably be petrol versions in the future. In realtà il motore ideale non va scelto soltanto in funzione della velocità che volete raggiungere, ma piuttosto dell'allestimento di questa. The ideal engine shouldn't just be chosen by how fast it can go. There are a whole host of things to consider first, like overall weight, for example. Per esempio, su questo modello a poppa abbiamo installato la piattaforma immergibile idraulica, piuttosto pesante, e c'è anche il generatore. On this model, there's a submergible platform that's hydraulic, so it's rather heavy. And there's a generator as well, so you can imagine the weight we've already got. That's the reason we've gone for the 370 horsepower Merc Cruiser. They're bi turbo. Per portarla in planata, è meglio abbassare completamente i flap, giusto per riequilibrare. To get up to planing, it's better to fully lower the flaps in order to rebalance the trim and then give it some juice. Listen to that. The two turbines have started to work in unison. 3,500 revs. Speed is starting to build up. The angle of incidence is getting smaller and the boat is planing. In questa gelida giornata d'inverno, qui sul lago di Seo, on this icy cold winter's day, I'm lucky enough to have a windscreen that blocks the wind quite well. And then there's the steel deflector, which pushes away the gusts too. Well, almost. Sull'imbarcazione è installata una timoneria elettroidraulica che ha una risposta velocissima, molto rapida. Quindi quando la guidate. There's a hydraulic rudder on the boat, which reacts very quickly. So when you're at the helm, be careful as just a push with your finger like this. E la virata è molto stretta, la sbandata è elevata. Mi raccomando, guidatela con attenzione, con precisione, ma senza esagerare. And the turn is narrow, the wake high. Believe me, you've got to drive carefully and precisely. No wild movements. Look how it changes course. Brilliant. In the meantime, as speed has increased, the incidence angle has changed. So I'm going to take the flap off and just watch how the speed builds. 3,600 revs, 30 knots, and consumption is at 120 litres an hour. Everything this boat does, it does softly, like it's in slow motion, which gives it a nicer sense of comfort, control and safety. Questa postazione di pilotaggio apprezzo soprattutto la posizione simmetrica di queste due console, una dedicata al joystick e l'altra ai comandi. From the driver's seat I can really appreciate the symmetry of the two consoles, one dedicated to the joystick and the other to the controls. I also like these two big LCD screens and this one screen in front here where I can check out my course. So whilst I'm focusing on the water I can manage the engines too. OK, so we're going even faster now, 4,000 revs a minute, and the trim is right for going faster. So I'm going to take off some flap. To get to the maximum turnover, and 40 knots. The sun's going down and so is the temperature. I think this is a good time to go back to port. See you next time.